Yes. Because so we're going to start with the double champ. We're going to start with the fighter profiles. Today is the Long Island Championship for mixed martial arts sparring here at Pinpoint in Lynbrook, 478 Merrick Road. I'm Master Lukey, and this is my card here. I have a, a team, and if you want to participate and be on the team, you can connect with me 24-7 on all social media, except Snapchat. I drew the line at Snapchat. I said there's enough already. Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Check out Master Lukey's League of Champions on Facebook, and then you can call me or text me any time. Okay, so now, first thing we're going to do is go over the, um, our fighters for today. And then while I'm talking to Matt Angel, just put your um, whatever kind of social media instead of your number there. Okay. So if people want to connect with you um, on, uh, on social media. Okay. So Matt is a, a, a high school student here in Lindbrook. And he actually has had multiple concussions. Matt has had multiple concussions, so he can't do regular mixed martial arts like me. He got them from football, and a lot of this research into traumatic brain injury has come from football. So I'm really glad to have somebody like you on the team, Matt. Welcome to the League of Champions. You're going to spar today in the safest way. And uh, I don't know, what if... What if uh, what if you uh, become a national celebrity as a pioneer of the safest way of mixed martial arts? What do you What do you want to like? What kind of message do you want to leave people? I mean, I know you have a wrestling background, and you're just an overall athlete. But uh, do you have any message for the uh, for everybody who is interested in martial arts? You know, do you have any motivational? Uh... I mean, I'm I'm sort of new to martial arts, but. For all I know, it's safer than football. Football really like messes with your head, and uh, from all the concussions I had, like, it just sucks. Like, and they all add up over time. So, right. this is a when I heard about it, it was a very safe way to protect your head and not, you know, get your brain scrambled. So when you get older, it doesn't mess you up. And you still, you're still gonna get the the full MMA experience. We're gonna have the rules meeting in a second, but. We're still gonna do takedowns, ground and pound, everything, except not to the head. And uh, I'll go into more of that at the rules meeting. Now, um, just before we move on to our next fighter, when you had a traumatic brain injury, um, now I know personally it took me a long time to recover. I had to actually reach out to people for motivation, but do you have something that you said to yourself, like when the going got tough, how did you find a way to continue? Well, what was I your guess method? I just I loved the I loved the sport and I just kept getting up and saying I got to get better. So over time, I guess uh, you just you just naturally recover and just keep doing what you want to do. But then you come to a realization where you're like, this is just gonna mess me up. Right. So I quit football and came to martial arts and I love it now. It's, nice. it's fun. He it. said, he said, do what you love as long as it's safe. Thank you so much, Matt. Looking forward to seeing you in action. And now, I'm just laughing at Angel. <laughs> We're going to go over to Max Kogan. Let me cover up his parents' um, phone number here. Here's his profile card. And just before we talk to Max, I'm just going to um, advertise my target exercise here, which is a fitness program. Now, I have a complete system of mixed martial arts ranking that's based on mythical beasts. So you get a championship belt because to me everybody is a champion. And then in each hole goes a magic crystal that contains the spirit of a mythical beast and that is your rank. So for example, Max here, he's uh, considered to be a living phoenix, which is a bird the size of a plane. And that's the 
rank in mixed martial arts where we uh, learn about nutrition. So Max is uh, versed in all of the tech, most of the techniques, and then um, the next step as an athlete is to to set an example for all of the young kids who are coming up, um, not just in the safest way, but also as uh, as just an overall healthy lifestyle. And um, I'm promoting this across Long Island and New York as a free seminar and tournament. It's called Battle New York. So I will come to your dojo, I'll come to your gym, and I'll come to your academy, and we'll do mixed martial arts, and then we'll have a healthy cooking after party. Max is a veteran of the League of Champions. He's participated in full MMA rules. Uh, of course, we have um, this point system, which we're going to go over in the rules meeting. But Max, let me um, let me ask you, what brought you here on a Sunday when everybody else is at home watching cartoons or something? You decided to come down to the dojo and do battle with Optimus. Well, my uncle, he brought me to jujitsu, and I really liked it. Oh yeah, Uncle Diesel Dave yeah, brought you to jujitsu. Wow, so even though this is a, a Muay Thai gym, you actually are enjoying the grappling. Yep. Nice. Well, grappling is uh, one of the arts that is most useful for, um, for self-defense. And just as a metaphor, guys, as a martial artist, we're supposed to teach people how to protect themselves. But how can you teach people how to protect themselves when you're knowingly walking into a cage where you're gonna, somebody is gonna get injured. And don't tell me that mixed martial arts is safe under the current rule system because one of the ways to win is to give your partner a traumatic brain injury. And they look at effective damage done as a judging criteria. So we need to set the example, we're the leaders. Where the warriors on the front line and the battle is in the cage. Today we're in a ring though. And we have next here Angel. How do you pronounce your last name? Freire. Angel Freire. That's not what your it says on uh, on your Twitter and Instagram though. Oh no, that's the fake name. Okay. Fabregas. That's that's the uh Twitter and Instagram. His code name is Black Angel. And he's here for the belt. Nah, nah. I already got this belt. Now I just want to warm up this shoulder. Still, you know, it's getting a little cold. So I'm here to, you know, try to win this second belt. There is no try, Angel. Oh, yeah, Only no. do. I'm the face of the jujitsu game, so I'm here. I'm here for it all. Look. Well. Yeah. We're going to go into the uh, corporate sponsorships in one of the next videos. But basically, you're going to hold this and well, actually I'm going to hold that and I'm going to hand money to you through that hole in the middle. Because um, as somebody who's uh, of age, you can be a professional, you can get paid yeah. you know, as a professional martial artist. Uh, we only have one sponsor today. So it's not going to be a lot of money, but it is going to be cash in your pocket. Um, yeah, let's go into the sponsor right now. Our sponsor for today, I'm just getting this thing here. And um, Matt, you're going to grab this side. And then let's stretch it out. I want to hold this in the ring, but um, pass that around. Let me pass that down. This is a, a company that provides the healthiest water. What's it called? And it's called Trilogy for Life. For life. Yeah, Trilogy for Life, baby. Thank you. Wow, our First corporate sponsor. sponsor for today. And um, my goal is to get multiple and many sponsors. And then all of the sponsorship money and all of the ticket sales is going to go into a pot. And then depending on your score, as a percentage of the overall score of everybody's scores put together, your percentage of that overall score 
will be equivalent to the percentage of the money that you get. So it's not like first prize gets twenty dollars, second prize gets ten dollars. It's a percentage based on your score. So anyway, this is the future of mixed martial arts, and this right here is the future of healthy water. It's called Trilogy for Life, and for we're life. on a mission. I ain't, I ain't sleeping until this gets done. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we're gonna win. Stay tuned for more exciting action. Oh, we're gonna interview you. How's that? I thought that was good though. No, that was dope. Thank we you. We got this.